fire burning. So it begins. All kinds of stuff. Hear me. Heartbeat. Background. Blood pressure cuff is missing. that mean I'm dying? No, but you're getting worried about dying because your heartbeat just went up. Oh. Relax. Right. Of the hallway? The waiting room for you is... Part of um, whenever our patients come to the ICU, we always draw a set of labs on them just from their A line. And so I'm like, I think I don't know that you're allowed to draw from A line stuff, but what I can do is give this. So this is day one. I have a headache. Lots of tubes. Coming out of every orifice. Almost. Uh, uh, stomach hurts. Got my own room. ICU. Really tired. The epidural on my back. I think that's what's making me tired. That's about it. What else can you add, Julie? You've done really well. Everybody's impressed by your sense of humor. You missed your racquetball. Uh, Sorry. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. You haven't had anything to drink for two days, so. Yeah. You're a little parched. Yeah, my throat hurts a little. But, uh, everybody's impressed with your recovery. So far, so good. And there's your pain button. Sleeping a lot. Lopes are all dry. All right, well, uh, we're at the end of day two. And it is uh, 20 to 8. Um, as you can see, they they uh, removed the nasal tube, <coughs> which I believe they call the NT tube. Um, uh, I felt so much better getting that tube out. That tube down your nose, for me, has been the worst. Uh, you, you, you can f feels like it's coming out of your throat. Um, actually, this is the first time I've seen myself, or actually looked at myself, and <laughs> uh, don't look that great. But I'm not in any pain right now, and I know everybody's going to be a little bit different.
Uh, of course, I have an epidural, uh, which is one of the strongest medicines I think you can get going in my back. Um, they also removed this uh, IV that was going in my right hand, and that was killing me because I, I needed a hand to, to um, use to get up out of bed. And every time I would bend my wrist, the flexible needle would just dig into me and feel like my skin was going to rip out. <clears throat> so they removed that. Are we really on day two? I think I am. Um, so hopefully tomorrow uh, they'll start giving me ice chips to suck on to start slowly swallowing clear liquids <clears throat> and uh, maybe even start using the feeding tube. Not really looking forward to that. I'm sitting here watching TV, watching all these food commercials. It's tough to watch. Um, anyway, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was. Um, well, I'll check in later. It's hard, <clears throat> hard to do an exciting video on this topic. So I apologize for the dullness. But I know when I was looking up this cancer and this esophageal removal, <coughs> I wanted to know what I was up for. So that's what I'm doing here is trying to share if you're going to go through this, what you're possibly up for. Uh, like I said before, everybody's different. Uh, I'm 53 years old. I was in good good health physically um, and I'm sure that had a lot to do with it and they caught the cancer at stage two. So I had no chemo or radiation. Um, see what else has happened today. Oh, um, I guess I'm going to have to get injections into my stomach uh, every day uh, for the next 28 days to help prevent blood clots. Uh, that I'm not looking forward to. I uh, hate needles. So uh, I'll give it a try. Might be, uh, it's really hard for me to talk because I don't have the breath to keep rambling on. Um, but it might be easier for me to give the shot than for someone else to give it to me um, just because I know exactly when the pain's going to begin. Um, so, anyway, uh, they put that into your flap, a belly flap in, in your stomach and that's where the inject injection goes to prevent blood clots. So um, I'm supposed to be here around 2 o'clock to give me my first one. I was supposed to have continued to have it these last two days but somehow it was overlooked and didn't get transferred on my chart when I got transferred from ICU. Um, I think I've already said this, I've walked 15 laps today. Um, I started my tube feedings. <laughs> and I want a donut. <laughs> I want a, uh, a um, Krispy Kreme donut. That's what I want right now. Uh, um, and uh, I think that's it. I'm, I'm not, I still have the epidural. Uh, I'm not in, I'm not in any pain other than when I cough. Then my chest muscles uh, really hurt. Um, 
So I'm hoping when they take the epidural out, I won't be in a whole lot of pain. Uh, they're going to give me a bunch of, uh, I guess, Tylenol, something that I'm supposed to swallow, that I can swallow. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, this is uh, day three, uh, and tomorrow uh, is supposed to be a training day of what I'm going to need to do and how I use the feeding tube. Julie, my fiance, is going to be here, and she's going to train uh, me in the training session so that uh, she can uh, supervise and help me if I need help or help me remember uh, not to forget something. Well, anyway, day three.